it's very interesting yeah to to uh, explain here that in Indonesia we have uh, like quite strong civil society but the numbers as well as capacity is just not enough I mean to resolve or overcome our development programs so I, I, I myself uh, think that the, the best uh, role that the civil society plays is to promote uh, like an innovative and alternative uh, ways of development and finally the government have to adopt yeah, or to uh, to adopt the, the that uh, uh, the things that is um, work yeah, for for for, uh, for development um, let me give you an example so, um, um, I started my work in NGOs as a researchers and in 1992 it's, it's very difficult to take corruption uh, issues uh, as a, like as um, yeah, as a subject for, subject for study. Mm. So I have to find another terms. Yeah, like I'm studying uh, small scale enterprises, and I want to see how much the government, <laughs> like uh, uh, an illegal levies, illegal levies, you call it, uh, pungutan yeah, in Indonesia. It's not corruption, but I'm studying how much money or how many percents that the the small businesses have to. Uh, uh, to pay before they start business, uh, something like that. And um, the, the, the NGOs, yeah, they can promote and try to advocate this issue. Um, but finally, uh, without any change in, in uh, national um, uh, and as well as local uh, regulations, it's very difficult uh, for us to resolve this problem. So study is good yeah, by NGOs, but um, uh, we need uh, also, some uh, uh, something um, from the legislature or for the government, from the government to make sure that um, uh, what NGOs thinks and our our research result is uh, taken uh, in a policy.